Uh, and so people, when you read different people's stuff, chew the grass and spit out the hay. Uh, because uh, some of it's true and some of it isn't, and a lot of times it just leads you away to throw in the truth mixed in with a bunch of crap. And so chew the, gra chew the grass and spit out the hay, folks. Uh, question for the show, do you think there's any significance to 777, July 7, 2007? There will be a mass murder, possibly a nuclear attack of USA government on its own people on this date, so they can justify attacking Iran. Uh, but really a massive satanic murder, much like 9-11, for Sunday president which gives him total power, she claimed there's a national emergency. Uh, I don't, I don't know, Some, somebody asking if there's going to be an attack on July 7th of this year, which would be, what, <laughs> Friday or Saturday of this week. Uh, by the way, I've been reading all the topics and speaking about tonight, weird, huh? So explain better who Anki and Emma are. Uh, maybe not on this show. Um, I don't know if there's going to be an attack. I do know uh, that at the end of July, uh, things are going to heat up. I don't know how they are, uh, but things are going to be heating up. That's all I can say right now on that. Um, do you know think about this? Is this for real? The face in the golden arrow prayer looks like the picture of one of the Lucifer's on your website. Project Reparation. Um, I don't know what Project Reparation is. That sounds like something Catholic. Uh, and when I see anything Catholic, it makes me want to puke as much as I see anything Protestant. Uh, I hate religion, folks. I just, I hate it. If you want to know who the father is, go to him direct. Um, got a question from a reader that I didn't get to last week that kind of fits in with this week's show. Um, how did Eve give the fruit to Adam? And that's a good question because I had fell on the same thing thinking, because the whole thing I've stated, folks, and you can read it at my website, serpentseedline.com, uh, is that the whole thing, the whole Adam and apple and tree and everything, <laughs> which is a big symbolism to hide a sexual encounter between Adam and Eve, or Satan and Eve. And so you have to think, well, if Eve, Eve uh, partook of the fruit and gave it to Adam, does that mean Adam had sex with Satan? I've had people ask me that. All right. It doesn't mean that at all. The Lord told me no, that he did not have sex with Satan. It is the fact that Eve seduced Adam then and showed him what the whole thing was about uh, with sexuality and, and reproducing and, and things like that. She just turned him on to it. Uh, and he wasn't ready for them to, to do that at that time. Uh, they were doing it out of the will of God. He did not want them to have those kinds of relations at that time. Uh, and they did it anyway. Uh, and it wasn't the whole thing that he was so miffed about them. Uh, during those whole thing that they were disobedient to him. You know, they were just, I think it was the whole thing lying and, and disobedience uh, and not obeying what he had told them to do and what not to do. Um, a couple questions from a listener. Where do you get your neodyme magnets off the internet? I get them off of a, a it's actually a pagan website, but he's got neodyme magnets that I use when, uh, uh, mythinlinks.com, M-Y-T-H-N-L-Y-N-X.com. He has the neodyme magnets on his website. He also has a lot of other stuff. Uh, I would suggest just getting the neodyme magnets there. Uh, and then, of course, people use those for deactivating chip implants. I don't think that they're going to deactivate brain implants. And I wouldn't put a chip, something especially this strong as a neodyme ch uh, magnet, on your head. I've had people put them on their jaws and put them on the backs of their ears, and they'll knock out ear implants. <coughs> but I don't think anything is going to work against a brain implant. Uh, if I open my windows, can I make orgone in my apartment? No. Uh, do not make orgone in your apartment. Uh, this stuff really stinks. It's Bondo. It's fiberglass resin. You definitely need to be outside. Uh, if you can't make it at home, uh, drive somewhere like a park where you can be left alone. You can you know, pull off the road, pull off into a park, uh, and take some cardboard with you and, and set your muffin pans down on this cardboard and pour it on there. Uh, just find a park. Just find some place where you can go off and be alone uh, to pour it. It's, it's, it uh, usually only smells really harsh for about an hour, uh, and then it's good to go. And so, uh, especially in the summertime, in the wintertime, it takes a little bit longer. Uh, definitely would not make that in your home because you need air. You need to be able to breathe. 
uh, what is your thought on Daniel 11.35? And some who are most gifted in the things of God will stumble in those days and fall, but this will only refine and cleanse them and make them pure until the final end of all their trials at God's appointed time. Yeah, that kind of fits in with something I ran into a couple of years ago, uh, where you, you run into these people who really love the Lord, but they're so just up to their earballs and apostasies and errors. Uh, and and uh, they miss the first calling, the first group of 144,000, but they actually come back to make the second group of 144,000. So that kind of fits in right there with that whole thing. Uh, some of these people who will miss uh, the first group, because the first group is, is without guile. They're without witchcraft. They're found without witchcraft, without any kind of guile to them. Um, and so many pastors today and people who really do love the Lord, they're just so full of guile. And so during that time, they'll realize uh, the errors and apostasies they're in and uh, get back to the Lord in time to make the second group of 144,000. Uh, Yahushua revealed to me that eight is Yahweh's number. Yeah, it is. It's a new creation number. Can't argue that one. Uh, anybody else have questions for the show? You can reach me at SherryTalkRadio at Yahoo.com. Uh, I don't want to get into uh, uh, backtracking too much because I don't know uh, what kind of uh, emails have been or left over from last week or whatever. Um, I thought this one was interesting. In fact, it was hysterical. It was just a conclusion on reading my website. Uh, I'm not going to read who it's from, but it says, uh, Dear Mrs. Schreiner, I want to thank you for giving me an interesting problem to investigate. I determined to understand how a person who seems to be Torah observant can come up to such strange, con strange conclusions as you have. Uh, I'm going to recommend you to the producers of Coast to Coast AM <laughs> as a prospective guest. Good luck, you know. That was <laughs> <laughs> they usually like people on there that they can control or that will spit, they can spit into a different direction. Uh, I don't know what their problem is with me. They certainly don't like me over there. Uh, I've tried to get on that show before to no avail. Uh, yeah, okay. So I've already answered that about the reptilians and, uh, no, nothing's an illusion. Uh, nothing's a matrix. What I find interesting about all of that stuff about the matrix, and, and I haven't seen anybody else really bring it up, uh, is the fact that they're they're kind of s promoting and, and opening uh, your eyes up to the whole thing about uh, astral projection and the spirit being able to leave your body. Um, because, you know, you look on the show and the whole premise is they're sitting there and they're attached to these computers and they're sitting in these chairs but in reality, they're really off somewhere else fighting all these different battles where they run into these men in black and all these different villains. Um, and the whole thing, basically, when I looked at the, the movies, The Matrix, uh, it was a, was a, you know, like a spiritual versus physical body type thing. Uh, it's showing these people what they could do when they left their physical body uh, and actually went and operated in different worlds in their spirit bodies. Uh, and you couldn't really tell the difference between them being in their spirit body and them being in their physical body. And I haven't really heard anybody yet address that. Uh, because how would you know uh, if, if you were talking to somebody if they were in their spirit body or their physical body? <laughs> uh, because someone's spirit body still looks exactly like they do. Uh, the disciples had been walking alongside Jesus and didn't recognize him. Of course, he didn't allow them to recognize who he was. But they didn't recognize uh, the fact that they were with the spirit body and not just a pure physical body either. Uh, so that's interesting. I think that was the whole concept of the Matrix movies that's been totally overlooked by people. Uh, I don't like to see them all. I think I saw like the second and third, the first, second, and third or something. I didn't get all, all the way up into the numbers of the Matrix. Um, but it was definitely interesting.